friends uh, i will uh, start with dme uh, towards the end we will uh, give the detailed uh, method of giving ideal intravitreal injection also but we will first go through the indications dme indications follow up and treatment strategies i just came through this uh, uh, thing clinical experience is defined as making the same mistake with increasing confidence for an impressive number of years while evidence based medicine is perpetuating other people's mistakes in instead of your own so this is something that you should keep in mind anyway we have few questions why do we inject when do we inject how often do we inject basically nowadays we are following what is based on drcr net so protocol i was published few years back and the five year result has come and what it does it it compares laser injection with laser injection with delayed laser and trimethylone and they found that always uh, the uh, uh, injection with deferred laser that is injection without laser initially is the best and the visual outcome over uh, five years proves that and in pseudophagy guys just to remember in indian scenario trimethylone or steroid may be also useful so results show that uh, the uh, uh, the outcome is much better with injection alone with deferred laser uh, over 5 years but there are some problems the median number of injections was nearly 13 to 17 in prompt and deferral group with injection so in 5 years they need around 15 to 20 injections and the number of visits are quite high and it shows that the number of visits over 5 uh, years is nearly 39 40 38 to 40 so patient has to come back to you 40 times in 5 years if such a patient is there with you you are lucky one you can, you can practice drcr net so the next thing is what we can probably emulate is uh, the canadian guidelines and indian guidelines are also coming up so canadian guidelines says, says that if there is clinically significant macular edema with central macular thickening i will tell you what is central macular thickening what in our this thing and if it is fake and if it is diffuse edema consider injections usually uh, around 3 loading doses are given even though it is not a strict rule and then follow up the patient if there is improvement and becomes uh, uh, stable you can stop if there is no improvement you can repeat the angiogram and see you can change the drug to steroids you can give additional laser laser is possible or switching of drug so these are this is the usual that guideline by canadian group which we can also to some extent practice now uh, the the what is central macular uh, increase central macular thickness the studies in drcr net shows that it is 250 micron but that is with stratus time domain oct if you are using hidelberg it is around 320 if you are using cirrus it is more than uh, 300 so you just make sure that the 250 is not a magical word so you have, when you have to treat now there are some few examples i will show this patient had left eye diffuse cme and uh, monthly injection anti vegf along with uh, deferred laser was given this is first month second month third month then uh, there was a recurrence after the uh, two months after stopping the loading dose it was fourth injection was given this is the usual pattern that we see there is another case this is the left eye of the patient with diffuse macular edema first injection was given the indra, uh, the thickness reduced from 718 to 380 second injection was given 326 263 it is gradually reducing laser was given to supplement most of us do little laser if there is a chance of recurrence because we basically want to reduce the number of injections so after that we repeat the angiogram and it was okay a uh, few microaneurysms were li still leaking that was given second sitting and over the years he is maintaining 69 with uh, near normal central macular thickness so, so this is 2013 that lower one is 2014 he is maintaining after the initial four five injections and two lasers so this is 2011 12 and 14 now this is another case this is a, uh, uh, there is diffuse edema angiogram not much leaking microaneurysms which points to diffuse edema first injection reduce little second injection lit not much of a change laser then little more reduction is there don't expect dramatic improvement in some cases then it was 6 by 24 repeated angiogram few microaneurysms but cataract was significant cataract surgery fourth injection second sitting of laser after cataract surgery and it reduced and over 2013 it uh, the it became stabilized it's a normal central macular thickness 
and he is maintaining 6 by 9 and 6 in 2014. So this is a uh, reasonably good uh, uh, follow-up of the DME case. I will show a few examples. The upper one is pre-treatment, lower one is post-treatment with combination, either prompt or deferred laser. This is, uh, the upper one is pre-treatment, lower one is post-treatment. This is pre-treatment and post-treatment. The, the, all these cases, I have given little additional laser since there are leaking microorganisms in the floors in angiography. So this is pre-treatment and post-treatment pictures. Pre-treatment and post-treatment. Some of the cases we have used triamcinolone because it was uh, before the uh, anti era. Pre-treatment and post-treatment. So these are some of the examples, clinical examples, showing the, this is a right eye of a, per, a person, already left eye is quite bad. Injection, followed by little laser, followed by injection, additional laser, top-up laser, then finally, the lower right side picture shows. Uh, so recalcitrant re DME, what are the options? Protocol T says that aflibercept is an option because it, this compared uh, uh, ILEA with uh, Avastin with uh, Lucentis. And there are some uh, implications because if the patient is having poorer visual out acuity in the presentation, which our patients do have, most of our patients have poorer visual acuity, Ilia does little better than, definitely better than Avastin, little better than Ranibizumab. So that is one take-home message from this protocol, protocol T. Aflibercept is little better, but there are problems in uh, implementing this in our scenario. So in, if the, the visual loss is, initial visual loss is worse, aflibercept had an advantage over other drugs. Then comes Osurdex. Dr. Gopal will speak about Osurdex. This is another uh, steroid preparation with less side effects. And me trial showed that definitely it is uh, Dex implant has a role. And uh, primary laser with adjunctive implantable dexamethasone, Placid trial also showed that it reduces uh, leakage and uh, improves visual out outcome and uh, central macular thickness. Then Chaplin study showed that in vitrectomized dyes, where you cannot give a triamcinolone and, uh, and anti-vegas does not stay much, dexamethasone implant has some role. Thanks for the kind attention.